Now to the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. A second Kansan has died after getting the virus. The KDHE sharing the latest information with us. Now as highlighted in red here on the map, the deaths are being reported in Johnson and Wyandotte counties. We're also seeing cases reported in 12 other counties with 55 positive cases confirmed in Kansas. Now as for the second victim, the second person who died, we know he is a man in his 70s from Johnson County. He was hospitalized and he had not done any traveling. He did, however, have underlying health conditions. More than 26,000 coronavirus cases are reported nationwide. And a community of Reno County is stepping up their game against everything with COVID-19. They've had one case of coronavirus reported in the county, and they have a health order that takes effect today. First off, there's the ban. They are not allowing gatherings of 10 people or more within the county. Also, for those going to the Kansas City area, you will have a mandatory 14-day quarantine. This weekend, we have learned that a man in the 60s the sec is the second person in Sedgwick County to have COVID-19. He was tested by his health provider, and he has a history of traveling to Colorado. The health department says his only close contacts were members of his household. They are being monitored. We spoke with Wichita Mayor Brandon Whipple, and he said he was not surprised by the news of this new case. We're going to get more cases. I mean, this is the thing. The idea that we're going to hide, um, you know, put our heads in the sand and this will just blow past us, that, that's not realistic. We're going to get more cases because this virus spreads fast. This is the second case for the county in three days to be confirmed here. The first case was Thursday night with a woman over 60 years old. A large number of cases, though, as we've heard, are up in the Kansas City area. And starting this week, the community will go on lockdown. Residents in Johnson and Wyandotte counties here in Kansas and also Jackson County, Missouri, will have to follow orders to remain at home. The order goes into effect Tuesday morning, and this is only for people in the KC metro area. That is not the rest of the state of Kansas. This afternoon, Kansas City, Missouri issued an order um, that expands our prior directives. This is now a stay at home order. What we're doing now is suggesting, actually mandating that anyone who is not engaged in essential activities or working for essential businesses needs to stay home. And during the stay at home order in Kansas City, people are asking us what's open and what's closed. What the state is calling essential businesses, they will remain open, and that includes government services, child care, grocery stores, pharmacies, drive through and carry out restaurants, banks, gas stations, and laundromats. But what will be closed? That includes dine-in restaurants, bars, gyms, entertainment venues, salons, and large gatherings like weddings or funerals. And now again, this is only a stay-at-home order for those in the Kansas City area. We did get a chance to speak to Wichita's Mayor Brandon Whipple about a similar measure if something like that would happen down here in our community, and he believes many other cities will do this, including potentially right here in Wichita. We've had a lot of viewer calls about the president's proposed economic stimulus package, and today we will get one step closer to finding out exactly how this will work. The top four members of Congress will meet at the White House with a negotiator this morning, and they will finalize details of the plan. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin is negotiating on behalf of President Donald Trump. They hope to take a procedural vote on the package by this afternoon, and this could be worth $2 trillion in total. Senator Jerry Moran says that he hopes this all will come together to help boost the economy. It sure seems important to me that we set aside the usual political bickering, the trying to score points one party on the other. Uh, sure, we have different ideas. Uh, every member of the Senate does. We don't always get our own way, but there is enough common uh, ground and enough goodwill that I think we will have a package in place that will be voted on by the United States Senate, uh, presumably on Monday. And that's when things like this will likely pass. If there is enough support for it, we will keep you posted on those details right here on CAKE. The U.S. Labor Department has seen a 25 percent increase in new unemployment claims this past week. It's a part of businesses closing as a part of precautions with COVID-19, and they're urging states to not release unemployment figures, but some have continued to do so, including right here in Kansas. The state has seen an increase of 10,000 applications just in one week. Kansas lawmakers will likely re-examine the power the governor has in emergencies once things slow down from coronavirus. Some Republicans are not happy with Governor Laura Kelly and her decision to close down schools for the spring. In addition to ordering a halt on new evictions and mortgage foreclosures, 
They are looking at rewriting that law. Governor Kelly said she is acting to preserve people's health. You can catch up with more on the political stories across the country as well as COVID-19 on This Week with George Stephanopoulos that starts at 9 o'clock this morning, directly following Good Morning Kansas. Well, a group of Kansas City area teenagers are on a church mission trip and they are stranded in Guatemala. They were supposed to return home on Friday, but that country canceled all flights because of the outbreak. Linda Wager speaks to them as they try to get back home. It was supposed to be a week of fun and volunteering in a rural Guatemalan community for 14 Northland teenagers from Platwood United Methodist Church. But the outbreak of COVID-19 has now put their return in question. It's just a little scary of, we just don't know. Mackenzie well, Albright and Coleman Reese are just two yeah, of the teenagers on the trip. They're staying at a hotel in Guatemala City, waiting for the airport to reopen, which may not happen for another two weeks. It's good. We're in a safe place. We obviously are recommending that they stay close to the hotel um, just so that they're easily reachable. Parents like Susan Mason, whose son David is on the trip, have been calling their congressional representatives, trying to get help bringing their kids home, but haven't got any firm answers. She admits it's uncertain. Settling. It is the what if. We we don't know. So many things we feel like we do know and I have to hold on to those. Guatemala is also dealing with the virus and like here has shut down restaurants and most businesses. We're beholden to that medical community to help him and, and I know they'll do their best but um, I just would like to have him home. Meanwhile, the teens say they're practicing their Spanish and getting familiar with the room service menu at the hotel since the restaurant there is closed. Lawmakers have been in contact with the family and they say they are working to evacuate the teens and other Americans stranded in Guatemala, but that's unclear on when exactly this could happen. Well, while churches are closing all across Cakeland, one church in Marysville came up with a creative way to feel the community spirit. Check this out. Kent sharing these photos with us on Facebook. Father Nathan Haverland at St. Gregory's Catholic Church printed out photos of individual families from that congregation and set them up in the pews. Everyone's there in spirit, right? Well, on this Sunday morning, many of you are maybe looking for a church home to celebrate with. Well, we have one that you can be a part of right here on Cake. You can join the First United Methodist Church of Wichita. Their worship is aired on Cake TV. It airs from 11 this morning until noon, and that takes place every Sunday morning. For complete coverage of the coronavirus, head over to a special section of our website. You can find everything at cake.com slash virus. I know a lot of people have questions. Great resource for you to go and keep tabs on everything that's happening across our community.